Hi guys, in this video we learn how to make valid lists and numbered lists. As always, let's start from the output. First, we create a simple valid list. Second, we see two examples of nested valid lists. Third, we learn how to change shapes. Then we move to numbered lists. We see a few examples of nested number lists. Finally, we learn how to continue number lists. For example, we have here a first list. Then we have some text and then we start the list again. Okay, so this is the plan for this video. Let's start. First, simple ballet list. We need to use the itemize environment. So begin itemize and itemize. Then item and the text, item and the text and so on. And this is the simple output. To make a nested ballet list, simply we need to open a new itemized environment when, when, where we need it. For example, here we have some fruit, we have apple, banana and strawberry. And as you can see, banana, strawberry and apple, they are on the same level. But we want to distinguish red and green apple. So we open here a new itemized environment. So usually, when I start a new uh, sub-list, what I do, I open the itemized environment, but I give a tab. So this helps me to track the level of the list, as you can see in a moment. In fact, in the following valid list here, what we have? Apple, banana, and strawberry. Here, apple banana and strawberry on the same level. Then we have red and green, red and green as before. So here we have one tab and as you can see this starts from here and ends here. And we have red and green on the same level, red and green on the same level. Then below red we start a new itemized environment. So I give another tab, so as you can see this one, two, and three. And again, item. Below green, I start a new itemized environment. Item, item, item. And this, as you can see, you can track like this, the sub list. Okay. How to change shapes. Here, I'm using this I or Roman numbers or this kind of shapes. The approach is the same. Here, after item, we open square brackets and in square brackets, we write the shape that we want. Okay. In this example here, what I do is it just, for example, here, you go item, Square brackets inside double dollar mark in tech maker I open structure and here I pick up for example this is all times is this one I click and I build and that's it Okay, so now finally numbered list. Here we just need to use the enumerate uh, environment and then again item. Here we have just one, two, and three. Nested number list as before. So instead of using itemize, we just need to use enumerate but the same approach. 
So here, this is apple, then we have red and green. And we are, I give a tab and again begin enumerate, red and green. Here, by default, we have A and B. What about if we want a different, uh, uh, here, we want just number 1.1 or 1.2? Actually, in this case, I'm setting them manually. Again, I open the square brackets and I start uh, writing that. The following is an example of a nested nested list, but it's the same as before. Instead of itemize, I'm just using enumerate. Finally, continue number list. Here, what I do in the second list, I set set counter enumi e n u m i and then the number of the last uh, of the of the previous list so in this case number three and then again item item and this automatically uh, updates the numbers so uh, as you can see in some example i do uh, manually the change for example here was done manually, red and green, 1.1, uh, 1.2. 1 1 there are some packages uh, for numbered list. I, I'm not going to show them because honestly, I never use it. I just want to know that there are some packages for more elaborated list, but I never had the need to use them. So I never use it and I'm not going to show it. I think this should be enough to make balance list and number list. Okay guys, hope the video is useful. See you in the next video.